We're gonna use it. You sure you want to talk this out? No, sick it anyway. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we are live. We are live. We are live. Did I say welcome to the main event? Oh. Run that thing, Brad. <laughs> are you mad? Oh, oh man. Hey, yeah, before you talk about what I'm talking about, yeah? yeah. Disclaimer! <laughs> Run that thing back. No, man, just stay there in your corner, man. Run that thing back, fam. I don't want to hear nothing from you. We are live, as I'm saying, Mr. Blitz Tech. Blaming the GS. J1 Further Disciples. And welcome to today's review. We've got Bullet Train. <clears throat> All spoilers. So you've been warned already. And you've been warned again for pressing the subscribing button. Make sure you're pressing that. Make sure you're liking the video, like these reviews. Comment down below. After you heard the review about all the spoilers, you warned again. Any spoilers you want to? Spoilers. Mmm. Tangerine Dyers. My team. Oh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait. Tangerine Dyers. Uh huh. Hornet Dyers. Yeah. Uh. Is it Brian? Is Brian the train? Brian's the train, right? All right. Lemon likes trains. Mmm. Yeah. No, he's good. Yeah. Huh? He's all right. Yeah, he's all right. Yeah. No, I know he survives. Oh, my bad. But we're talking about the stickers. Oh. Yeah. Brian is the worst, is the bad one, right? Diesel. Diesel. Yeah. Bam. Diesel dies. <laughs> Can't remember her name. Uh, the, white, the, the, the white dragon white dies. Death, white death. White death. Yeah, yeah him. white death. Yeah, yeah. But everyone dies, man. <laughs> everyone dies except for like Brad Pitt, Sarah, Sandra Bullock, and Lemon. Lemon. Yeah, level. <laughs> anyway. Super funny. But yeah, guys, you want to dive into what you think about uh, Bullet Train? First, like, first thoughts on that? Yeah, um, I just love when I watch movies that I fully enjoy, like, everything that they do. Like, and this movie is one of them. Like, obviously, man, not knowing much about Bullet Train, just coming in. The way the story was told, like, I really loved it. Like, do you know what it reminded me? It reminded me of... um. Fight Club, mm. the way like when the story's being told, I was like, oh, it kind of put me in that frame of mind. And obviously, like the 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 jokes wasn't forced; it was there, made man laugh. Action was there. Like this is like a really good movie. Do you know what I'm saying? And I really hope there is another one. Interesting as well. Like I felt like watching this, I was surprised how much I liked it. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? But I do think there's things that just stood out to me that were like. No, do you get what I'm saying? But I think the comedy for me was one of the things that got me. And it was weird because man's in the cinema and it's like, I feel like I just got a weird sense of humor in it because the things I was laughing at, no one else was laughing at. <laughs> and the things they was laughing at, I weren't laughing at. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, so there was that, but I thought it was good because I thought like whoever did the comment, like the, the script and the, and the comedy knew how to talk to people on multiple levels. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? And I think, that was one thing I thought was fire. I think the movie, um, I think the movie's best when it's moving fast, mm. um, like the bullet train. Mm. And when it slowed down, I thought like it kind of started to drag. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? I felt like there was conversations between Lemon and, and um, Tangerine that kind of were drawn out. Yeah, were drawn out too much in terms of, we don't need to know this much about them to understand what they do, who they are, how they move. Do you know mm. what I'm saying? And I felt like they spent their time on that. And that was one of my biggest gripes. I feel like it could have been a little bit shorter. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, other than that, I loved everything. I loved the way the assassins came in, quick, out, boom, boom, boom. Like, I loved the cameos, like Zazie Beats. Um, seeing Ryan Reynolds be like the mastermind of the whole thing did make me want to throw up. But it's cool. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Shannon Tatum showing up for Bad for team. a second. It's mad. <laughs> Sex stuff. Yo, I was bruv. dying, bro. I was dying nah, with man, this man, guy, man. bro. It was good, man. It was good, man. It was good. Like I said, it um, was good. You know what was, was so good to see as well? Uh, Masi Oka from uh, Hero. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The I haven't seen this guy yeah. in so long, bro. And just, just have like, he didn't even do much. Mm. But he's just one of those characters that, oh, it's my man. Like you know what to do, what not to do. Like, do you know what I mean? As a as the train conductor, it was. It, no, I was just gonna say it was giving me major Kill Bill vibes as well. Like, obviously, anything that was dealing with assassins is is cut up in terms of giving you what's going on now and then taking you back in time mm. for 
backstory. I love that. I love the interweavingness of the narratives between everyone as well. Like yeah. the fact that um, they show us the wedding, everyone died, and they show us the wedding again, and um, Hornet's there. Then she show. Then we show it from Bad Bunny's perspective of bumping into. Um, Brad Pitt that we'd already seen but we didn't see the waiter's face and now we're seeing that the cake put like wow. I loved I loved mm. the way they interconnected that one of my big things was I thought that Brad Pitt was miscast as the main character really yeah man I just didn't I didn't I didn't vibe with him oh right like, and the thing is I get what you're saying he is Tyler Durden in the movie yeah mm. but I think it's like you needed a character who was in Brad Pitt's position when uh -huh. he did Fight Club to be t the new Tyler Durden ah, in this movie okay. instead of getting Tyler Durden oh, to play yeah. okay. Tyler Durden in this you. movie. Do you I get what I'm saying? I That's you. the only place I... Like, he's great in it, yeah. but I think he's miscast as in... I don't know if it should have been Brad Pitt. Who? Who? Do you know that? Can you someone think of who, someone? I would, think of someone? I would think of someone who is, like, kind of straight-laced, who I would be like, this is where you get to show that you show, can be you, diverse. You, oh, okay. This is where you... Okay, 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 okay. This is where someone's like... Nah, man. I didn't know. Like, I saw him in Bullet Train and he was different. Yeah. Like, yeah. that's what I would do. So he, he, you get he, someone he, to try and experiment here. I, I, do you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, bravo, no, bravo for that. Because I, I, I fully see what you're saying. Because it wouldn't have been Aaron Taylor Johnson then. It, it could have been, but to be, I don't even really like Aaron Taylor Johnson's character. Bro, it, <laughs> in it as a whole. In it as a bro. Bro, bro, him and Tangerine and Lemon, they kind of, I think it's the British accents, bro. Because right. cause Brian Tyson Henry's British accent was trash, bro. Oh, Rafa bounced off my man perfectly. Wow! Know. To me, I like I like both of them yeah. going back and forth. They're like. back and forth calm, but his mm. accent was fro bruv. I was bruv. I, who talks like that? No one, bruv. What well, the whole Cockney accent? Bro, nah, fam. Bruv, we're from the nah way. <laughs> no way, bruv. Every Go time, I, maybe that's why all of their conversations were jarring to me, fam. Because mm. I was just hearing them talking. I was like, bruv. No, like it, no. I, know, I just, <laughs> no. I, I just, I just love the way man, my man would just snap. That's, mm. No, like, that on, on, on Lemon, bro. Yeah. Like, like, bro, like that whole thing is like there is no chill between them. Yeah, like, yeah. it works and it makes sense. And even the names, yeah, bro, coming up with the names and understanding, like what those fruits are mm. in terms of, like taste, Person yeah, even yeah, personality, yeah, that's it. bro, like. That's some genius shit yeah. right there, bro. I was that's like, good, oh, bro, man. That's good dialogue, but the the thingy. Bro, no, bro. the right. accent, mad. That's, oh, I need to go watch it to, to but see I what just, I'm saying, bro. I thought, yeah, I just thought the accent was a bit, it was just, for, for me, it was throwing me off. Mm, that's mm. for me, like, the most. That's all, like, the cast is what completely, like, makes this movie really, really sick. I thought everyone was on point. Everyone played their character well. Like, even, like, Bad Bunny being that guy, just being an assassin, you will kill someone, just take a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, I just thought everyone was just like, like suitably perfect. Even like Brad Pitt, I feel like if you was to get someone else, I feel like they'd be more of a bumbling idiot, more of than a a seasoned trained assassin that doesn't want to be in that life anymore. No, man, I think that's just more down to the to the to the character, like mm, bro, mm. bro, like, and mm. I don't want it to be. Everyone is great in it, fam. Mm. Even bro, thingy, Lemon's good, mm. even with the bad accent. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? And the stuff that Raven's talking about in terms of like their dynamic and their reaction. Yeah. It's all, it's all cool. Mm. I just, in terms of, maybe it's just because they're British, fam. Okay. Maybe because they're British, it just rubs me out the wrong way. It's like, <laughs> even in a hyper-stylized world that they live in, mm. I'm still just like, these two are too much. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? But I feel you, get me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like I said, I was, I was ple pleasantly surprised by the movie. Mm. And I love that it went full circle in terms of like, the family dynamics. Yeah. I, I knew it was the daughter. Do yeah. she was obviously going to be the daughter of him. I love that she spat on her brother. Mm. I love that that comes back round to the, the the grandfather's the grandfather's fighting at the end mm. via failed sons. All of that. Mm. Even the fact there's right at the beginning of the movie when Bad Bunny. It's not Bad Bunny. It's the um the son who's who's the son whose kid gets thrown off the roof mm. when he bumps into Brad Pitt at the beginning of the movie and he drops his key. And then he gets to the locker and he unlocks it with the. I knew the movie was going to be mad. Mm. I said, "They just, they just told you to, to even, no matter what you expect to happen here, we're going to find a way." Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? And I think that's what that was. That was mm. big for me because mm. then I knew. Anytime someone then got shot, I was like, "Yeah, you're going to survive." Okay. Because of that, because they, they tell you, mm. they're like, "Oh, look." You think he's not going to get into the locker because you've seen him drop the key and we focused on it. Mm. But when he gets there, there's other ways. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? So I thought that was sick narrative to like put in there. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Anyway, tough.
Tough, yeah, tough, tough. Yeah. Enjoyed it. Andrew, Andrew Koji does, yeah, he does, he does, he does bits, he does bits in his movie. Very surprised. Obviously, I didn't, I didn't know who the cast was going to be for this, but I always love to see Michael Shannon on the screen, bro. Mm. That guy, bro, villain through and through, bro. Like, this, <laughs> I just, I just love seeing Michael Shannon going to work. Mm. That guy, bro, he's just super legit, man. Uh, when you say that, it does, it, it, it makes me want to talk about um Hiroki. Cause like that's the guy from Mortal Kombat, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, bruv, The reason why I, I'm bringing it up is because uh, that Mortal Kombat movie was so dead, yeah. <sighs> and in this, he is that guy. Do you know what I'm saying, yeah. mm-hmm. bro? Mm-hmm. The people who are watching Mortal Kombat. This is like, like I'm not. Hurtful. That's why I can't wait for him to be in John Wick. I'm not uh, like this is this is the okay, kind of thing like John Wick if they did a Mortal Kombat movie, yeah. But it was like bullet train, mm. where they were just all the sat like Bro, that. It'll be over. That makes more sense. This in, in, exist. In, yes, but I know that. But this is what I'm saying. That's all the vibes I was getting. Mm. He's a he's a father mm. with a son. He's, he's like he's he's spreading his ninja knowledge, his samurai knowledge <laughs> through generations, bro. Mm. Yeah. But we're in the modern day. Mm. It's just oh. beautiful. It was beautiful to yeah, see. No. Just from him and his family. Yeah. His whole family thing. Yeah. Bro, that, I'm, that's what I'm saying, bro. That mad. narrative there, like Sick. I think. Tied me in more than anything, mm. right? Right. Because it was like, th- like the man, you man gave me a little Godfather movie inside your little stylized <laughs> train assassin thing. I love that, bro. Mm. I love that, fam. And go harder, like do more of that, please. Get me. <sighs> yeah, for an assassin movie, like it always. From to be honest, if your action is also dead, then you got trouble as well. But the action in this. <laughs> Every time they're fighting, spice it up. Always mad. Even just Brad Pitt always saying, Oh, I've got bad luck. Stuff always bad happens when I'm doing this and that. The way he would just finish for you, fool. Bam. I was not expecting it. The bad worst bunny, one was. Bad Bunny's that death, was, man. <laughs> I'm saying that Chuck the Ting bounced off. But I thought when he killed Hornet as well. Like he was waiting, waiting, yeah. waiting. Mm. And she just moved, took the, the injection. Yeah. Nah, he's mad, you know. That's what I'm saying. Like, the whole no, thing nah. is he was, mad. Yeah, it was tough. It was tough. It was tough. I, lo- I did love the action, bro. It, it, and and it, I feel like these days, action is getting so... It's got to be different. Mm. And I feel like they, they, they did their own thing, but it wasn't like crazy and you... Like, you was focused on it. Like, you could see what was going on, mm. even with how over the top it was. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? And, and that's what I love. And that's what I was saying, talking about, like, kind of Kill Bill vibes, like, hyper-stylized. I loved mm. how... Almost like got like the blood and everything, bro. I'm glad they showed that stuff, bro. I like it, man. For this world, it makes sense. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Yeah, Need man. Another one. Woo. That would be tough, you know. Why? I don't know, because obviously I feel like the whole bullet train setting was definitely perfect. It can't so, be a train, bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's got to be a plane. There you go. Something. So it'd have to be a very... Be something else. Yeah, another... Place, place. Right, Where yeah. everyone's it's in there, they can't go else. anywhere else. Yeah, because you know, you know why? You know why <laughs> it's... Obviously, because the movie, I really enjoyed the movie, so obviously I would want more. But it's just following uh, Ladybird's okay. journey. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? Brad Pitt's journey. Like, like the way the movie just starts at the beginning, and, you know, he's just going, you know, he's just he's pouring himself out to um, uh, Mariah, yeah. um, Sandra it's Bullock's character. character. Mm. And he's just like, no, I'm a changed man. And, this... and then <laughs> how things unfold out of his control... Mm. But it gets resolved at the same time, and at the end, it kind it comes to a, like a little resolution, like a little breakdown and understanding. Obviously, with with the elder also explaining things to him, it's like oh, it's not so bad then. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? And then like the vehicle getting destroyed right at the end with Sandra Bullock, and then they just walk away. Like I would want to see where he goes off next, in it like in pursuing of his happiness. Sure. You know, in this mad world that he lives in. Mm. Like, that conflict in itself, like, bro, hi. Man's talking about peace. Bro, man's an assassin. <laughs> what? Like, I just I just love that, yeah, bro. Yeah, it's true. I love, yeah, the movie just does everything pretty well. But um, is it Tarantino? That's the only thing I was, like, probably constantly comparing it to. Like, like it just feels like it's just been done just a tad bit better. Mm. That's, what I, that's what I feel yeah. like. Is there, but it's just like, I feel like it's just missing something. I can't put my like, finger on it, but it's just like maybe like it's maybe it's just a tad bit too long as well. I Some characters I feel like they could have dove into a little bit more. I did think that, that there were some characters that that didn't get enough, mm. and I think what you're talking about is if if like to get to I don't want to say to get to Tarantino level, but it would have to be 
comp- like way bigger. If you get what I'm saying, mm-hmm. like the Bad Bunny character, like they needed to do more. It's yeah. like they were just they were just throwing us quick. This is why. This is why. This is why. Mm. And they would have to actually like flesh it out. Do you know mm. what I'm saying? Like Ryan Reynolds' character would probably have to be in that movie. Right. Okay. Do you get what I'm saying? As opposed to just cameo in like, ah, it was me. Do you know what I'm saying? It would have to be like some sort of, you know what I'm saying? Mm. What, what? That, that would have to tie in if you was talking about like getting it better, if you kind of get what I'm saying. Like, mm. That's you know, what I think is missing. You know what you guys just, just made me think now with what you just said? And I'll, obviously I was just saying a second ago, I want another one. Maybe a prequel where we get to explore more of these characters. Do you know what I'm saying? Bad Bunny's character as an assassin because someone clearly wanted to take out all these pockets of of groups. Do you know what I'm saying? So then it's like, oh, we can go back and dive even, even further into this into this world with these characters as well. And obviously, like, yeah, Ryan Reynolds, like, yo, he's the one who started this whole thing. Why is he like that? Like, why is he trying to take all these men out? Stuff like this is, these are the ones where I always feel like, just do, like, you take Zazie Beat's character and then you just make a movie. So, like, I would just say Atomic Blonde lived in this universe. Mm-hmm. That's the kind of stuff that I, like, if I'm putting lists together, mm. that's what I'll be like, oh, boom, she can live here. Mm. And that's all I would want from this. Take two of them. Take Bad Bunny and take a character that maybe was in the movie that we saw, but wasn't in the movie like one of the henchmen, mm. and then bam, put them against each I other. I thought the train conductor was an assassin. Was an assassin or part of that world? Do you know what I'm saying? Because like even the way he just, there was just something about that character. I was just like, yo, like I f- I, if I, something I, comes out of it, I will not be surprised. Yeah, I, I think what they did in the movie is like because it's like Brad Pitt is running away from being killed by assassins. But he seems most scared of the train conductor <laughs> asking him for a ticket. Mm. And I think that is, yeah, because, yeah, bruv, that is yeah. the most impending dude. Yeah. Like, yeah. bruv, he's going to yeah, 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 kick yeah. me off the train. Yeah, bro. even the way <laughs> man said, yo, next stop, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, yeah, bruv, yeah. like, I love that. That seems as dangerous that. as the assassins. Like, mm. that, like they've got, a, they get the energy in the thing right. It's, it's almost like, uh, what's, what's the guy from. Um, John Wick from the Continental mm. that does the reservations. Yeah. It's like, he's that kind of character. Yeah, like, yeah, and then, yeah. But he just don't move like that until he has to move like mm. that. Do you know what I mean? So. Yeah, it would be interesting still. But yeah, man. Very enjoyable movie. Everything else, like director, cinematography, music. Like, everything bangs in this. The music and the editing. Music yeah. and editing is, is, is actually fire. I can't, I can't even believe music? I forgot. Bruv, the way this edited together was sick, bruv. There's a part at the end where it's like, the music's going hard, it's going hard. The bullets drop out of the gun or something. The music stops. It's not even like a slow-mo. And it just gets back into it. Oh. And the music comes back. And I was like, why is no one going <laughs> crazy in here? Like, that's, I, that's always my, my reaction in the sit like, I don't know. No, bro. And I like the fact as well that it depends who's fighting. It was also the tone of the music for bro, so like the, the whole... Japanese version of, what was, oh, like, a British version of the song. I, like, all those kind of remixes as well for free. So. I love that you bring that up because even in the beginning of the movie, the, the way it's shot, each person has their ho- whole own vision. Mm. So like when it's focused on the um the father whose son's in hospital, it's very it's it's everything around him's blurred out mm. and it's he's in his own world and all he does is bump into things mm. because he's only focused on his internal thing. When you see Brad Pitt, it's an outward shot, you can see everything happening in the background, like He's aware. Mm. He's a, and I love they do that for every character through it, and that ties in with the music mm. because I'm like raw, like Brad Pitt's got some Tyler Durden type esque music, and then it's going to my man. It's got some doom and gloom, like <laughs> it's just yeah, yeah. E- emphasizing the mental state of each of the characters, and then it's mm. going to Bad Bunny, and it's like mm. like bro, tough man. Tough, tough. So you're making me want to. Give it a better rating, man. Same, same. But yeah, man, man. <laughs> I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed Bob, it. Change your rating, man. Movie is tough still, but guys, man, let us know so the wait, comments so down what, below. So what we're, we're rating this movie? I've got to give it a four, man. I'm I'm, thank you. I've got enough. Thank you. I'm giving it a four. Thank you. Look, he yeah, tried to get away with it. You know? I gave it a four out of five. He gave it a four. I'm giving it a four. I got it. It's got to be a four then, isn't it? Bam. Four out of five. Come four on. Five. Come on. Guys, let us know in the comments down below. What do you think of bullet train are you still thinking about it are you gonna go watch it now have you already seen it you know what you gotta do like the video discuss man discuss 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 and we'll see you in the next review for sure i'm sam mr blitz tech revenue gs j1 for the cyber nerds peace